good morning everyone in the last session we started about the discussion regarding this particular asset here so previously what we did we we discuss about the linked list and we discuss about the array list so these two are the implementation of list interface so today we'll discuss about the set interface related implementation classes okay so here you can see set internally it is extending from the collection interface set internally it is extending from the collection interface so whenever it is extending whatever the collection related methods we are having like whatever the collection related method we discussed earlier the same methods are applicable to this particular set interface because set does not contain any specific methods here okay so whatever we are going to discuss here everything we'll try to discuss the collection interface related methods here collection interface related methods here so now create a one more one more class here i'm trying to work with the has set related has set is one of the implementation of has set is one of the implementation of this particular set interface here so let's write a has set okay has set demo and here i'm going to close the other classes here okay now here this is the has set demo and the main method now what we need to understand here so what exactly the has set will do so now if you observe the the diagram basically the first interface collection okay so collection internally it is extending list here and it is internally extending the set here and it is internally extending this particular queue okay so list we are having two classes one is array list here second one is linked list so set also it is going to have multiple classes here the first class we are discussing here has set the first class we are discussing here has set here okay so now what do we understand here has set is one of the implementation of this particular set interface one of the implementation of this particular set interface internally what is used so it is going to create a collection okay it is going to create a collection so that is, that is going to use the hash here okay so based on the hash code it is going to store the data into the the respective table here okay so table means here we are using the here we are trying to use the collection based on the hash code it is going to store the data into the the respective implementation of the collection here get in the point now internally has set is also generic generic class here any collection if you take it all the classes are having generic here. now here so what exactly it will do based on the hash code it will generate the the respective hash code key and value now based on this particular key and value it will store the data here okay the key so hash basically the hash code it is going to generate the key if the key so we are coming as a twice the same key then we'll treat as a the key is a duplicate record okay so duplicate record we are trying to insert here so whenever we are trying to insert in duplicate record hash code will be the same here hash code will be the same so whenever the hash code will be the same the the respect to record it is not going to be inserted so just it is going to update the value just it is going to update the value here so this is what we need to understand here okay so now we'll see the constructors what are the constructors we are having and how the constructors are going to be implemented internally okay so this is what we need to understand regarding this particular hash set so hash set i'm trying to create an object here so this is the hash set we are having and as i suggested hash set also internally it is trying to work with the generic here now what is the generic type i'm trying to providing string here okay so this is an hash set here and a new hash set so what are the constructors we are having what are the constructors we are having here get in the point what are the constructors we are having here so we are having around four type of constructors here now we'll see the default constructor now here so first we'll go to the class level public class has it 
and it internally it is extending from the abstract set here and it is implementing from the set interface okay implementing from the set so the clonable and serializable we'll discuss later here because each and every class in the generic it is implementing clonable and serializable here okay but what you need to understand here this is the class we are having has a it is extending from this particular abstract set here and it is implementing this particular set interface it is implementing from this particular set interface here so what you will understand here what you will understand here whenever it is extending the abstract set internally it is extending from the abstract collection internally it is extending from this particular abstract collection okay so this is the the constructor and these are the some different type of methods we are having so equals method hash code method and remove all method is implemented under the abstract set here so remaining each and every method where it is implemented under the hash set here okay so here you can read this particular class it will give you the information about the the purpose of this particular hash set so what saying this class implement the set interface and it is going to use the hash code it's a hash table actually internal it is what is the object it is using hash map instance so based on the hash code can you bend so it is going to store the data into the the respect to hash map instance here hash map object here okay so it makes no guarantees so when the iteration orders what is saying whenever we are trying to load the data we are not going to get in the same order get in but so it makes no guarantees as the the iteration order of the set here okay and here you can see it does not guarantee the order so that will remain constant over the time so whatever the order we are trying to insert the record we are not going to get the same order because because here the hash set internally it is going to use a hash code mechanism because of this the order it is going to be changed here the order it is going to be changed here so this is what we need to understand okay and here you can see this class it's going to provide the the basic operation it's going to add a record remove the records it will check the contains and size related and so remaining methods so whatever the the all the collection related methods we observe here all the methods we can work with the hash set here we can work with the hash set here okay so this is the main purpose of this particular class here so you can read the the implementation here it will give you the more understanding about the each and every uh, the class information it's a simple understanding again so array list basically it will allow the duplicate elements here and as well as whatever the order we are inserting in the same order we are going to get and at the same time the linked list also it will do the same we can insert the duplicate records and we can go to the the insertion order however we are inserting the same order we are going to get here but whereas a hash set like whereas a set interface we are not going to get the same order and do hash set it is not going to allow the duplicate records so it will allow only unique records here so what is the logic it's implemented to allow only unique records how, how it is identifying the the duplicate records and the unique records so this is the the main purpose of this particular set interface here so we'll see what exactly the hash set internally it is implemented here okay <clears throat> coming back to here what we need to understand here constructors so first we can see private hash map which is expecting e what is e e is a key object is a value object is a value so far we did not discuss regarding this particular hash map but we will focus only to the hash set so later we'll discuss about the hash map related information later we'll discuss about the hash map related so why we'll discuss because so hash set it will allow object type here only one object to, it is going to allow whereas the hash map it is going to allow like this key value pair okay key value so it is going to allow two values so here we are going to store key and value but whereas this particular hash set it is going to allow only only one object here okay there is no concept to call key and value but here the hash map it is going to allow two object the first one is key second one is value 
So based on this particular key and value, now what we will understand here, what we will understand basically, here we are going to understand the based on the key and we will update the value. If the key is a unique, we will try to insert the new record. Okay, so now if you observe hash map, here we are having generic type here. Here we are having generic type. The first one we are providing as a E, the element type will play as a key role and object. So this is we already discussed. Object is a super class for all the classes. So I am I'm providing the type called object. Here. Okay, so this is what we need to understand. Now, finally, what I'm trying to explain, this has set internally, it is going to use the hash map to store the objects here. To store the objects here. Now, how we are going to use this particular hash map? To understand this, now what we can do, go to this particular constructor. So this is basically default constructor. Now what I'm doing here, here I'm trying to create object of this particular hash map and it is trying to refer to the map instance. So where we are having, this is the map here. Get in the map. This is a map here. So hash map here, element. What is element? Whatever we are going to provide to the hash set while creating an object of this particular hash set, whatever the generic type we are providing, so that is playing as a key role. What about the object? So object, it is going to play as a value role here. It is going to play as a value role here. Okay, so this is what we need to understand regarding. So whenever we are calling the default constructor, internally we are calling the hash map default constructor. And the second constructor, here you can see this is the hash set we are having. This is the hash set we are having. And here, so collection, can you spend here, collection question mark extends here. Get in the pen. So here, what we can understand here, this is the collection we are having and it is extending the, we already discussed wildcard and the bounded type parameter we are having. So whenever we are providing this, what is doing internally? It is calling the hash map, same hash map object we are calling and we are trying to providing the, so some key, this is the, this is the constructor we are calling it based on the, the default capacity. So 16 we are providing it. So we can store up to 16 elements here. We can store up to 16 elements here. And here, so this is a ratio we are having. So what exactly does the ratio will do? The ratio basically, so let's say, this is the hash map object. We already observed. So zero to 15, okay? We are going to store zero to 15 is nothing but 16 object. So I inserted up to 10 elements. Okay, now here, if I'm trying to providing ratio, so up to this particular 75% or 80%, what exactly it will do? It will create a new hash map. It will create a new hash map. It will copy the existing object and it will try to give the space to store the new elements here. Okay, the ratio, what is saying basically, whenever we are trying to reach at the 70% or 80% or 60%. So whatever the percent we are providing, so that will call it as a ratio here. Now, once we reach the specified ratio, it will create a new hash map object and will copy the existing and will go for the new object insertion. So this is what this particular piece of code it is suggesting here. Okay, and here you can see, so now the second constructor, sorry, third constructor, what do we observe here? First constructor is the default constructor. Second constructor, it is expecting the it is expecting the collection as a parameter. And this is the third constructor. This is the third constructor, initial capacity and load factor. So what is the initial capacity? By default, we are going to store 16 objects. If you are not satisfied, you can specify the how many objects we want to create by default. Like whenever we are calling the constructor of this particular object, how many objects we want to create here so we can get in the point. So we can call this particular constructor by providing the two parameters. The first one is capacity, second one is load factor. So load factor is nothing but so it is giving a how much percentage the, the hash map object is stored, like it's completed storing the all the values, then it will go for the new object creation here. So like it is going to create a some bigger object creation compared to the existing one. Okay, so this is we observe. 
Now, on one more constructor, only it is expecting the initial capacity. So here we are trying to providing the initial capacity. So now this is the constructor we are not going to call because it is not a private, uh, sorry, public constructor. It is a default constructor. So this constructor, it should be called within the this particular package, within the java.util package. But now we are under the different package. So we cannot create a, like we cannot call this type of constructor. Which type of constructor here? The constructor, it is not going to have any access modifier. So this is, we'll call it as a default constructor. Okay, this, this particular constructor does not contain any access modifier. Okay, so this is we observe. So finally, we are having one, two, three, four constructors. Finally, we are having four constructor. The four constructors basically, it will try to allow the different parameter. So based on the different parameter, we are doing the different operations. Okay, so now we observe the constructors. So each and every constructor, what is doing internally? It is calling the hash map based on the, the respect to parameter. The first one, sorry, this is the first constructor default. Second one, which is expecting the ratio and default capacity. Third one, capacity load factor fourth one only capacity only capacity so these are the four type of constructors we are having now so after this after this so what do we need to understand we observe the constructors now the second set we need to call the methods here because the set does not contain any specific method so whenever it does not contain any specific method now what we will do basically we'll call the We'll call the the collection related methods. Okay, so what are the methods we are going to call basically? Here we'll call the the first method call add method. So this is we already familiar here. So now what is an object I'm passing? ABC I'm passing. Okay. So this is the the first record I'm trying to insert into this particular high set here. Now. So what exactly the add method it is going to do now? What exactly the add method will do now? Now here you can see map dot put. Can you map dot put e? So what is the e I'm passing? A B C. And here what is the present here? So this is very important here. Now as of now we are calling the add method and we specified the element too. But along with the element, because, so hash set internally, it is going to use the hash map. It is going to use the hash map to store the records. But hash map, what is expecting here? Hash map, it is expecting the key and the value. But whereas a hash set, it is expecting the object here. But whatever the object we pass here, whatever the object we pass here, so that is we are passing as a key, and the present okay the present what we are passing so that will play as a value role here now if you go to the map dot put here now here you can see the first one is key second parameter is value okay now when we are trying to work with the hash set the object will reside into the key but the value every time will be the same value every time will be the same so here you can see value object at the rate 705 object at the rate 705 so now so for understanding here i'm going to be right here the object is same or different every time this object is changing or this object is same here now so go to this hash map what we are doing here put val okay we call the put method but internally we are calling this particular put val method. So what exactly the put val method will do now? What exactly the put val? So this is very important here. Now, if we observe this particular put val here, now I'm going to the internal implementation of this put val method. So before that, if you go to this particular, if you go to this particular put val, what we are doing here, hash code. Okay, hash code method we are calling. Now, this hash code, what is the parameter we are passing here? We are not passing the value, we are passing only key. Okay, we are passing only 
key here. So whenever we are passing key, what happens basically? What happening basically? So this is the key called ABC. This is the key called ABC. Key equals to equals to null. Okay. Key equals to equals to null. What happened basically? We are returning zero. We are returning zero. If the key not null, so key dot hash code. Key dot hash code. And after that, we are doing the some binary operations here. It's like it's a bit, bitwise operation we are doing it. But now you can see here. So whatever the key we provide, it is not a null. It is not a null. So we are calling the hash code. So which hash code it is going to be called? String class. Okay. Which hash code it is going to be called here? String class hash code method it is going to be called here. Now, so once it is called here, it will do the operation and it will return the hash code of this particular value. Now here you can see. So this is the hash code. What is the, the count we are getting? 64578. This is very important. Here. So this is the hash code value of this particular given key here. Okay, now let me write the value here. So ABC we are having. Okay, so ABC the hash code value how much we are having. So 64 578 64 578 here. Now this is we observe. Now after that, what we are doing here? Now if you observe put val method we are calling. Now what we are doing this particular put val here? Here we are passing the hash code, we are passing the key, and we are passing the value and uh, some boolean parameters. Only if absent, second one is evict. Okay. Now what what are the parameters we are having here? Now this is a uh, only if absent we are passing false here, and uh, the last parameter boolean effect we are passing as a true. We are passing as a two. So now finally what we can understand here table table. What is this table basically? What is this particular table now? So if you observe, I will I will show you what exactly it is doing. Now here you can see node. Node. So if you remember the link list, if you remember the link list, now what we did? So link list also internally. It is using the concept to call node. Get in the point. But the node it is having the generic type, but is, which is expecting only one type of generic. But here one parameter uh, one parameter type we discuss. But here this node it is expecting two parameters. This node it is expecting two parameters, first and key and value. But here if you observe, it is a node array. It is not a node object it is a node array whenever we are having node array what exactly we are going to do so again same any array you can take okay you can take any array it will do the same operation so zero one two three something something getting the point so this is the the node array it will do the same structure but here in the each index location which object it is going to create which object it is going to be stored? Node object. Okay, node object. In any index location, we are not working with the integer string something. We'll work on the node object. So now, what we need to understand here? So what exactly the node object contains here? What exactly the node object contains here? So here you can see, If you go to this particular node array here, this is the node object we are having. Okay, so this is a node object we are having. Now, what we can understand here, the, the node object, it is expecting the hash code and it is expecting the key and it is expecting the value and it is expecting the next node. Okay. But this node does not have a previous. This particular node does not have a previous. If you remember the, if you remember the link list, so we have a previous node and next node. So if you want to understand, we will open the the link list class and how it is going to be stored here. 
okay so this is a linked list class now here you can see this is a node object so here we are passing the item next to node reference and a previous node but currently currently under the hash map so here we are passing the hash code we are passing the key we are passing the value and we are trying to pass the next to node reference so how this index sorry how this particular node it is going to look like here so same it is going to have hash code okay and this is the key and this is the value and this is the next to node reference this is the next node reference so what about the link list party we have now this is something like a previous node and this is something like a item and this is something like a next to node this is something like a next node so this is we observe in the link list to node here okay this is something like a hash map node why we are discussing the hash map here because the hash set internally it is storing the data into this particular hash map so finally if you work with the hash map or if you work with the hash set so what is the the object we are trying to store we are trying to store the data into this particular node concept here okay node concept so we observe the node concept how the node contains hash code key value and next node reference here so this is what we need to understand here okay now so what we can understand here the second step here we we observe the node here so this is the node array the table currently it is referring to the node array as of now we did not insert any record so it is the first record we are trying to insert in here because of that now it is trying to return as a null okay table we are initializing into the tab and if it is null what we are doing here we are going to call the this is the 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 operation we are doing here okay so we'll see what is the operation we are doing here now resize method resize method so what exactly the resize method will do now what exactly the resize method will do now so now if you understand this particular resize here here you can see table as of now table is null it is the first record we are inserting so here old table if the old table is equals to equals to null we are returning zero otherwise we'll call the length in our case old capacity how much we are having zero okay old capacity we are getting zero because we did not insert any record as of now okay so here the next step what you need to understand here threshold what is the threshold threshold also zero okay so after that so we are having some integer related uh, variable we declare and we initialize with the zero value we'll see where exactly we are going to use this particular initial variables here old capacity if the old capacity greater than zero in our case old capacity we are getting as a zero so threshold threshold also we are getting as a zero now this is important now this is important default to initial capacity okay default to initial capacity so how much we are getting 16 now what do you understand here we can store the 16 object by default okay now after this so what is the load factor what is the load factor so by default we are having 0.75 and what i am doing here with the help of this particular 0.75 i am trying to multiply with the default initial capacity so we'll get the threshold here so what is the threshold 12 so finally what you understand here so this is a this is a object of this particular hash map hash map internally it is using the node array now you can see so 0 okay and 15 so we understand the 16 objects we understand the 16 object but when it is going to create a new new hash map here new hash map in the sense new node array okay so this is the default node array we are going to create so that is we observe but when it is going to create a, a new node here when when we reach to the the size called 12 okay 
when we reach to the size call to well so now it will try to create a it will try to create a new node array some bigger node array is going to create and it will copy the existing object here and it will give the space to insert the new record as well okay so this is the the threshold again get in the point this is very important here by default we are having a 16 object and up to we reach to the 12 it will in try to create a so bigger node array object here and it will copy the existing object and it will try to create a like it will try to insert the new objects as well so this is what we need to understand here so we observe this particular load factor okay so now what we need to understand here so this is we observe new threshold is zero we are doing the new capacity and load factor so finally we'll get the the float value okay now this is important so carefully observe here we are trying to create a node array okay so because without creating a node array we cannot insert the record so that is we are doing here so now what is the capacity we are providing here? Now here you can see the capacity we are having 16. Okay, so whenever I created here, now you can see this. You can see this. This is a node array. All elements are null. Okay, so we cannot identify because of this particular all the null values. But what is the length we are having currently? 16. Okay, 16. Now, so we initialize into the table now. So table and new table both we are going to have same and here we are checking if the old table is not equals to null it will do the this type of operation and otherwise it will go to the second operations here. So we'll see this in our case it is not satisfied the condition. So finally we created the the node array and we are returning. So now what is the length of this particular tab here and we are getting so that is called 16. So we observe here length we are getting 16 now this particular loop this particular condition we are checking here now in our case the particular condition it is satisfied why it is satisfied here because we did not inserted any record we did not inserted any record because of that it is trying to return as a null okay what is the n n 16 n minus 1 15 in the 15 index location what is an object we are having? Nothing. Get in the point. So that is empty object. So it is null. So because of that, it is satisfied this particular condition. Now, what we are doing here? Here we are calling the new node. Okay. So inside this resize method, what we did? We created the node array. We did not create the node record. This is very important. Just we created the node array. And here, the line number 626, now we are trying to create a node object now we are trying to create a node object here. so now what exactly the node object is doing is here? here you can see this is the new node object we are creating and we are calling the constructor by providing the hash code and a key we are providing and a value we are providing and a next node so the next node as of now we don't know so we are making as a null so this is the way the new record the new node record we created and uh, table okay the tab is nothing but table of i what is the i what is the i i value how much we are having okay let's see uh, where we are having this particular i where i declare yeah, here i declare i value we are getting as a 2 so finally in the second index location if you remember carefully so normally whenever i create a for example whenever i create an int array so this is something like a int array okay this is the int array now the node i sorry int array i created and these are the some record i'm planning to insert here now whenever you're trying to insert here what happens basically in the sequence order it will go to like this so first it will insert the zero later one second third fourth and fifth it will keep on insert the object like this but 
whenever we are trying to work with a hash map whenever we are trying to work with a hash map if you observe this particular logic here this logic is very important here this logic is very important what we are doing is here we are trying to do the the important concept called n minus 1 n minus 1 n we are having 15, 16 so n minus 1 it will become 15 okay and hash code here okay based on this particular hash code logic what is the index number we got it what is the index number we got it here we got the index number as a 2 okay we got this particular index number as a 2 whenever we are getting this particular index number as a 2 what happens basically what happens basically it is going to store the record in the second index location so here it is not falling in the insertion order like it is not going to insert in the sequence order if it is it's going to insert in the sequence order it should insert in the zero index location but currently it is not inserting in this it is not inserting in the which index zero it is inserting in the second index location okay so this is we observe so now we identify the second index location the records are going to be inserted here okay so now what do we need to understand here we inserted let me come out of this you can see that table you can see this particular table now you will have a this is the record this is the key and value okay this is the key and value we are getting but in the which index location it is stored here okay it is not able to provide this information but we observed so that is stored in the second index location so once it is stored in the second index location we are doing the mark count so size and threshold we are doing it and after node in session after node in session what we are doing it? here we are trying to do the so this is an operation so nothing it is going to do here this method nothing is doing it so this is what we need to understand so finally what we observe recording this particular abc first first we generate the hash code okay first we generate the hash code and second what we did here we created the node array and the third we created the node record and in the fourth in the fourth step what we did we try to store the record in the the specified index location so that is we observe second index location okay so this is what we need to understand regarding the add method this is very important so basically add method what we did here what we did basically we call the add method so it is insert the record so second record i'm planning to insert second record i'm planning to insert here so here you can see what i will do here i'm going to provide the xyz okay xyz so for the first record what is the value we are having object at the rate of 705 okay so now we'll see the second record for the second record what is the value we are getting we are going to get here now if you see the present okay present for the second record also we are getting the same object object at the rate 705 get in the point if this particular reference uh, it's giving the different number we can understand this is the different object but currently if you see here for the first record we got the same 705 for the second record we got the same 705 so what you understand here whenever we are trying to work with this particular asset only the key is modifying but the value it is not modifying so how many times you are going to call the add method for each and every time we are passing the the value as the same okay but only it is changing key okay this is we need to remember here now we observe the map dot put method we are calling so here we are passing the a now go to this particular map dot put here and i'm trying to generate the hash code here okay i'm trying to generate the hash code after that i'm calling the put value method so what is the hash code so the hash code earlier for abc okay for abc this is we observe but xyz for the xyz what is the the hash value we are getting here what is the hash value we are getting so something like here 
एट सेवन फोर वन सिक्स ओके एट सेवन फोर वन सिक्स इयर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इयर दिस इज द हैश कोड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर की एंड दिस इज द हैश कोड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर गिवेन की सो बोथ की इज आर डिफरेंट now we are getting the different hash code so once we get this particular hash code again what we are doing we are checking if the table the table we are inserting into this particular tab if it is equals to equals to null it will do this but in our case it is not a null in the first record itself we created the the table related information okay so the table now it's contain the 16 object we can store but currently we insert only one object that is called abc so now we'll go to the else condition okay this is the one more if condition so what you need to understand here here n what is the n we are getting 16 n minus 115 hash code for this hash code we are having 87416 so finally we'll try to find out the index location so why we need to find out the index location because here we are trying to store the record in the node array okay in the node array whenever we are trying to store the record in the node array what we can understand here here we need to understand the index number earlier we inserted in the second index location but currently what currently what is the index location we are having 8 okay currently we are having 8 so this particular newly created record what is the newly created record here so that is called xyz the xyz record it is going to be stored in the 8 index location okay 8 index location so this is stored in the second index location this is okay here i can write and this is stored in the 8 index location so why it is stored in the 8 because of the hash code so because of this particular hash code it's went to the second index location now we'll insert the one more record Get in the point. We'll insert the one more record. Now, for this record, what is the index location we are going to get here? This is the small object. Small D F I given here. Now we'll see how it is going to be inserted here. So this is the put method we are calling. Again, we are trying to generate the hash code. Here you can see for the third record also. the value will be the same for the third record also the value will be the same like you can see the reference object at the rate 705 so same object we are passing okay we observe this now i am calling the hash code okay and we are coming out of the hash code and we and now we enter into the put val method what is the hash code hash code 99332 can you put 99332 so now for this particular def double line double three two okay now we need to identify the index number okay the first condition will not satisfy because it is not a null so second one we are generating the uh, index number we are generating the index number so here you can see the i value we are getting as a four okay the def object now it is going to be stored in the second in sorry fourth index location fourth index location okay now here you can see this is the mod count size after node insertion insert null we are coming out of this okay three record we insert the three records we are having in the we are having in the different index location it's going to be inserted so finally now i'm trying to print this sorry finally i am trying to print this particular hash set so if you remember how these objects are going to be printed how these objects are going to be printed so here you can see first abc okay second we call the xyz but the xyz if you see we are getting as a last here we are getting as a last here so the third record whatever we inserted now that will try to store in the second index location that will try to store in the second index location here okay so this is what we need to understand here now 
what happens basically here based on the hash code so based on the hash code it's stored in the second index location it's stored in the fourth index location and it is stored in the eighth index location okay now because of this index location now the objects are stored in the different format like we are loading the in the different format so what you understand is whatever the way we insert the record we are not going to get the same order why we are not going to get the same order because of this particular hash code so hash code it is going to be play as a very important role here very important role here so let's see let's see so what it will do for example so this is the first record now i'm trying to insert one more time now i'm trying to insert one more time same record so we'll see we'll see whenever we are trying to inserting same record one more time whether it will insert or whether it will ignore so here what you need to understand here i am calling the add method by passing the abc so hash code and after generating the hash code we are calling the put value okay so first if condition first if condition it will not satisfy so second one also it will not satisfy why it will not satisfy because hash code is same 64578 okay so for this record we are having same 64578 and the fourth record okay the fourth record whatever we are trying to inserting for this tape uh, for this record hash code will be the same 64578 here now here what happens here this condition false and this particular condition also will become false because what we are doing here it should be written null here based on the hash code it should be written null but in our case it is not going to return null already one record existed already one record existed here so now you can see is coming out of this now in the normal steps we'll call this particular method okay whenever the hash code is not same we'll call this particular method we'll call we'll create a node object here and it will store into the node array but whereas this particular hash code is same what happening basically it is not satisfying the condition we are coming else uh, else, else block it so here what we are doing here? hash code p dot hash code what is the p what is the p the p we are getting from here okay the p we are getting from here this is important so from this particular table based on the this index location based on this particular index location we are loading a record the record we are inserting into this particular p okay so this is the node object here this is the node object so whenever we are having this particular node here you can see abc we load and value we are loading now here p dot hash equals to equals to key okay newly generated hash code and existing object hash code both are same along with that what i am doing here what i am doing here? so p dot key equals to equals to key okay r key not equals to null and key equals to this particular key now what happening so it is trying to check the key related information okay in our case so this key you will satisfy this what we are doing here so simply whatever the p we are having the p i am trying to initializing into this particular e so e here we declare here we declare this particular e so after that what we did if the e not equals to null if the e not equals to null so what we can understand here what we can understand here so here e dot value old value we are loading okay and we are trying to updating only value if the key is same what we are doing is just we are updating the same value whatever the new value we are going to have we are updating with the new value here. so this is what we need to understand so in our case if the key is same so simply it will come out simply it will come out it is not going to do any other operations here getting the point it is not inserting the record still still you can see three records only we are getting three records only we are getting so why it is not inserted as a fourth record 
because here the hash code whatever the hash code we provided that is the same with the same hash code one record already existed one record already existed here so this is what we need to understand here now so so normally key will be the same but hash code will be the same here getting the key will be the different here hash code will be the same here so we'll see this how it is going to have hash map key let me uh, check the different example but the hash code will be the same key or different let's see what is an uh, example we can take so that we'll get the uh, the keys are different i know okay i'm trying to find out the so this type of example keys are going to have different uh, i know hash code will be the same okay so there is no proper example but we'll focus here only uh, abc uh, let me find here so let's see the any example we'll get it here no we are not getting okay so i will check and i will let you know so whenever we are having uh, two keys are different but hash code will be the same in that case what exactly it will do here okay so here we can go and uh, discuss here so it will check here this condition will not satisfy get in the point will not satisfy why because hash code is same but keys are different keys are different here now what we are doing here? here we are trying to call if it is a tree node it will call this particular object and else what we are doing here? we are calling this particular logic it is going to be used to store the data okay so this is we need to understand the important section so that we'll see i will try to find out the hash code is same and keys are different to the particular example later but as of now we observe the hide method how it is going to be implemented internally okay so what about the add all method what about the add all method the add all method add all method basically it is going to here i'm going to copy this okay so this is a one more object i'm trying to use it and here i'm going to pass the list here here i'm trying to pass the list here so finally this is a add all method i'm going to be called how this add all method it is going to be implemented internally okay so here you can see this is the add all method we are having now here you can see for loop we are having and we are calling the same add method for loop we are having and we are calling the same add method so what you understand here only the difference here whenever we are trying to have multiple records here so simply we are trying to call the add method within this particular loop here 
within this particular loop here so this is what we need to understand here okay so it's a same here similar object but only the difference here using the add all we can store the multiple object but using the add method we can copy or like we can store only one record so this is what we need to understand here so here we are having one two three df four five six x y z and seven eight nine the hash code we got the different here whenever we are trying to work with this particular object here. so the order of the insertion and loading are different here order of the insertion and loading we are getting the different here okay so these are the add method and add all method we observe here tomorrow we'll continue the the remaining methods how exactly the remaining methods are going to be implemented here okay so this collection framework is entire collection framework is very important here so we need to work on the multiple example here so that we can easily understand the how the collection framework is internally implemented okay we'll continue tomorrow